I've lived in Swiss Creek all my life. A player and also the league secretary. 1996, I think, was my last year. The 1997 grand final was played at Omeo. It was really a tough game right from the start. Yeah, there was a fair bit of violence. And uh, luckily, I was playing on a bloke that was like me and didn't like violence too much, so we st sat back and talked. It's always great to win a flag, but it was, wasn't a real one that you could celebrate that well because it, it just wasn't played how footy should be played, I don't think. I think most clubs had made up their mind before then. There was a lot of pressure, especially from junior parents. A lot of uh, talk about taking their kids to bandstyle to play in under underage comps rather than sticking around and putting putting up with what was going on. Certainly been an increase in the number of Curry players in our league and in, in a lot of the teams like Swiss Creek, I think around 207, 2008 um, was when we had our first Curry player, I think, a bloke by the name of Raymond Razor Rogers. Very strong player, um, very skillful player, as they all are, all tend to be. Um, and and he, he helped us win a flag. He, he unfortunately passed away earlier, but he's, he's a legend of both clubs, and we re remember him each year with a Razor Roger Memorial game. So his, his partner Marion and, and their kids have stayed in contact with the club and been an important part of the club ever since. Their kids play with, you know, the Swiss Creek kids. They get to know each other, they become friends and, and off you go, you're, you're, you're on a winner. That's the best way of closing the gap. Going out and watching the kids have fun, doing the stuff that you absolutely loved when you were a kid, that's very rewarding. And the kids doing stuff. I really love kids that are outside doing stuff. This very fine lady called Helen Shiel came to me um, late last year to have a Legends game and it was all about trying to keep the stories of the um, Aboriginal past Legends and that alive. Because I'd had that early association with the, the curries I had, um, that pricked me interest too. And it was footy. So. Well, you'll probably see a lot of hamstrings go ping. Um, hopefully you'll see a couple of drop kicks or something. It'd be a chance for some of the younger people to play with the legends like Michael um, Edwards, who is Ronnie Edwards' son. Anything you can do to bring the two cultures together is a good idea, I think.